All right, guys, Cubone's Barbecue here at Gorilla Headquarters, and today we're gonna make some simple backyard style barbecue brisket. We're gonna smoke it low and slow on our silver back. We'll cook this overnight. Temperature range somewhere around 200 to 215 degrees. In the morning, we'll come up, we'll turn up the temperature a little bit more, wrap it in butcher paper or foil, kind of depends on what your, what your preference is, and, and then we'll uh, let her rest in a cooler for at least two hours, probably four to six if you got the time. And then uh, we'll slice into it tomorrow and uh, have, some, have ourselves some beautiful brisket for our friends and family. It's gonna take a little bit of this fat off. We're not gonna waste this fat. We're gonna render it down as we cook throughout the night and hopefully make some great smoked beef tallow out of it that we'll actually use when we go back to wrap the brisket at the end of the day. This first hunk of fat here, we're gonna really just kind of come in and kind of remove that. Not gonna dig into that area. I'm just gonna kind of shave it off. We'll just come around this whole piece. Just kind of trim all that out. We're gonna turn it over on the other side here. What about a quarter inch of fat all the way around here and you can kind of feel around and see how thick the fat is. It's pretty good here. I, I don't, not a lot more I wanna do to this brisket. It's pretty aerodynamic. So we'll just put this mustard slather all the way around it. And then next thing, we've got two simple ingredients that we're gonna to add to this brisket. Some black, black pepper, 16 mesh black pepper, and our Gorilla Grills beef rub. Very simple. Uh, so we'll start with the, the uh, black pepper. You can also use a shaker. It's kind of windy out, so might blow a little bit everywhere. That's all right, we're outside. It's just barbecue. Just kind of hit that real good. Hit our sides there, can't forget about those. And we'll turn this brisket over and we'll do the same thing to our presentation side. I like cooking with the fat side up. We'll start with our mustard there. Come back with our, our black pepper. Get us a nice pat in. We'll let this sit out for about, a, about an hour. Come up to room temp. We don't want to put it in ice cold and uh, let her cook all night. All right, so we've got our brisket all seasoned up. She's ready to go on the smoker. What we've got here is I've got our jerky rack for the silverback and we've broken it down to where it's a little bit shorter. Gets it off that grate a little bit, gives us a little bit more airflow as, as inside the cooker. So that's what we've got sitting on a rack. We've taken one of the jerky racks, the brisket is sitting on that. Jerky rack is folded down lower. So let's get it on the grill and uh, get to smoking. We've got our brisket fully done, slow smoked it overnight at 200 degrees for about 12 hours. Got up this morning, probed it, was sitting at somewhere around 150, wrapped it in paper. After we wrapped it in paper, took it all the way up to about till it was probed tender. It was in the neighborhood around 198, 200 degrees, rested in the cooler. And now here we are, ready to slice into it, kind of see how we did. You know, this brisket here cost us about $50. So you're not talking about a lot of money. Uh, we're not talking about a $200 Wagyu brisket like we cook in competitions. This is just for the average backyard guy wants a good piece of meat. So let's try and see how we did. So we've got two, as we talked about in our earlier part of this video, you've got the point, which is the, uh, this top section here. And then we've got the flat, which is where we get our lean slices from. So we're just going to uh, start right in the middle here, kind of see how we did. Feels nice. Magic cut. There we go. Seems like it's still nice and juicy. Lots of... Uh, Got a nice ring of smoke there. Pretty happy with that. For everyday brisket, right out the uh, meat counter on your average uh, grocery shelf, you can't hardly beat that. So now we'll turn it here, kind of see where our grains are running. I think we're good, just slicing straight across. See how our slices came out? Still a little fat there. We can always trim that off. Flaking a little bit on the end, but that's good. Snows, we're tender. Got a nice bend to it. Let's try a quick piece of this piece here. 
Kind of like that. So nice and moist. All right, guys, so we got it sliced. Uh, we've tried it, I think it's great. We got a lot of moisture retention. There was no injection in this. There was, there was just simple seasoning on the top with a mustard slather. Um, really high quality uh, cook there, you know, on a choice grade brisket. Just go out and get you a brisket, season it up. You don't have to inject it and do all those crazy things like we do in, in competition barbecue. Just go out and cook your friends and family a great brisket.